It's Walden, I tell you! Don't be thick, Bron. Everyone knows Odin leads the wild hunt. Eivor! Who leads the wild hunt? Odin? Why? I was explaining to him the way of Oscar A. This one wants to turn it into a pageant. Not a pageant, a parade. I was thinking some of us could dress up like gods from both lands. Maybe you could lead it, Eivor. Oscorea isn't a celebration. It's when the veil between the worlds grows thin and the dead will haunt us if we don't honor them. True. And they say the gods come to Midgard to hunt. Not just beasts, but men also. It wouldn't be wise to draw their attention. You are wise to be wary of the gods' wrath, Dame. <laughs> but it's not by hiding that you'll evade the wild hunt. I told you not to pester the locals, Uncle. Have you been in the herbs again? Don't patronize me, you little shit! And you will call me Brother Maxwell like everyone else! No one calls you that. I've seen you around planting your smoking pots everywhere. The whole village smells like a seer's hut. Those pots are placed where the fabric of the veil is weakest letting us perceive unseen threats before they are upon us. I'm sorry, Eivor. He shows up like this without warning. I told him he could stay with me while he's here. You're right to offer hospitality. And we should mark the wild hunt in some way. It's a Sophia. Inta is setting up another event since her last tournament was so successful. Good. Tell her we'll use it. Not to celebrate, but to prepare for the wild hunt. Tell her yourself. You're the one leading this preparation. Me? I didn't... And be sure to visit Goodman's homage to the dead. Or didn't you notice the ship in the middle of the settlement? I noticed the ship. Good. May Odin's wisdom guide you. So no parade. I have a better job for you, Ron. You'll be the judge of whose actions will impress the gods. You'll be the keeper of the tokens. I will be the best judge you have ever seen, Eivor. Go see Norbit about the, about the tokens. Discover the mysteries of the Nether Realm. <sighs> I never said I was leading. Maybe I should have let Ron have his parade. Good day to you, Alwyn. Ah, good day, Eivor. I hear you've taken charge of the Fall Festival. <laughs> I look forward to, uh, what do you call it again? Oscarea. And I wouldn't say I'm in charge, I just talk to people. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I'm sure you're playing a greater role than you realize. Um, by the way, you'll want to keep a close eye on Braun's uncle. He's been leaving flaming pots everywhere. I know. He's a strange one. He may even be mad, but I don't think there's evil in his heart. Oh, I, I'm not suggesting any malicious intent, but Braun did mention he once burnt down a church. <laughs> Accidentally, of course. Oh. And a short while ago, I saw him heading towards the edge of the forest with an armload of kindling. He'll set the forest ablaze. Where can I find him? Follow the smoke.
Spread your wings. Smoke is not thick, but it clouds the hookah more than it. If your thoughts grow cloudy, look deeper within and seek clarity through your inner eye. I didn't think I spoke those thoughts aloud. I know what it's like to stand on the threshold of another world. I think you grow drunk on your own fumes. Do you think it mere chance that brought you here? No. The Nordnir leave little to chance. Then open your mind to the worlds beyond our own, as the veil that hides them is pulled away. What would you have me see? It's not about my desires, but yours. What do you seek? I seek to protect my people from the wild hunt. You'll need to cross the veil, face your greatest fear, meet your own worst enemy. Greatest fear? It will take more than herbind used visions to terrify me.
Maybe that monk wasn't so mad after all. Stand aside, spirit! I come for the rune. I do not wish to add to your grief. The spirit could be my twin. There's murder in his eyes. Only one evil will walk away. I must have painted this rune in my sleep. Nothing so strange about that. It doesn't shine with power like in the nether realm. But it's comforting, nevertheless. Venite odoremos et ade talata merum, eritis et fidem, dus et...
You do enjoy building your ships, Goodman. Even if they're not going anywhere. Hmm. I see people have been carving the names of the dead onto the hull. Haig, Asa, Aslog. These are names I haven't heard since my youth. We lost many on that evil night. Sven, a big man with a fine touch. He left his mark on many of us. Derek, a fighter until the end. I wouldn't call him a good man. His bravery could not be denied. There are my parents. Rasta, she traded her life for her child. I will make sure it was worth it. Varen. He gave his life to the Raven Clan. May the gods honor his sacrifice. That is for the All Father to judge. Strange. This name has no message to honor it. Calf. It's not a name I know. Goodmund. Do you know someone named Calf? No. It's the one name not carved into the wood, only scribbled in charcoal. Did you see who wrote it? Maybe. Someone I didn't know came by earlier. Limping and staggering, like he was on his last legs. Didn't see his face. And you didn't speak to him? He didn't speak to me. He went that way, if you're interested. I don't like unanswered questions so close to home. If this stranger was lame, he couldn't have gotten far. Fade me. Be my eyes. Tira, did you see a man limp past? I did. He was heading north of the Longhouse. Coal dust. He placed his hand here. Maybe leaned on it for support. Saga, unless that man can tell tales. This is our man. His gnarled fingers are black with coal dust. He wrote something down before he passed. I alone saw the attack from across the West River. If not for my warning, they'd all be dead. He was a lookout on the West River. There must be some place with a better view.
Smoke from a small fire. Is that where the poor wretch made camp? Cast about this lap, my friend. see the unseen. Perhaps it will reveal something of the dead man's fate. He showed him he would need another means to sound the alarm. Perhaps with fire.
some lookout the night of the attack. With mercenaries coming by land, he'd have no time to reach the others. So, he raised the alarm by burning Uber's ship. Uber would have been furious. He probably blamed Kaf for the attack and left him behind when the Great Army moved on. Now that I've uncovered Kaf's tail, I'll write it on Kaf's ship. Go, my eyes. Cross the veil with the help of your herbs. I saw through Kaf's eyes and learned his tale. Kaf saved his people and will be honored. What do you see when you look into the veil? To see what I see would drive you mad. Ask not about my visions, and I will not ask after yours. Kef saved his settlement. Et dixa ad eos rapscaios Andreas Dominus Noster, et kia ita es, quod es trebent ocasini idasorium pabulum, the Prabriant Delicta Patrum Fuel.
do you see? Huh? The Wolfka. So glad to see you. A message has come. Tira, we need an archery challenge to test our skills. This range tests a hunter's sense to know when to shoot and when not to shoot. When does a hunter not shoot? Imagine we're hunting together. You step on a branch and I shoot without thinking. What do you think happens? Uh, I take your point. In this contest, archers score points for hitting the right targets and lose points for hitting the wrong ones. Seems straightforward. There's also a time limit to make it more challenging. You want to give it a shot? Hand me a bow. Unless you're ready. Lower your bow. No shame in that score. Go claim your reward.
Have a look, Sunin. Eivor! Good to see you! Some of our people are anxious about the wild hunt. I want to raise their, their courage through contests of skill and bravery. I have the very thing! I want to recreate the chaos of battle! Our warriors will fight within the fog of war! You mean the smoke? Did a monk bring those braziers? Yes, he said something about a veil I did not understand, but I find they add to the experience in surprising ways. How do you mean? I don't want to spoil it for you. Besides, it affects everyone differently. Would you like to give it a try? I'll give it a try.
I won. Well done. But I think I'll make it more challenging. Come back when you're ready for another round. Hello, Arcady. I didn't know you were fond of horses. I'd rather deal with a horse than an ass. I'm not here to trade barbs, Arcady. I've come to see what you're preparing. A challenge, Eivor. A true test of equestrian skill. There will be barriers to break, targets to hit, and a time limit. I thought you said it would be a challenge. <laughs> it will require equal measures of skill, speed, and control. You think you have what it takes? Give me a moment to mount. Yeah! <laughs> 
Why so quiet, Aki? Where's the lash of your wit now? I am silenced by your show of skill. You may claim the full prize. Need your eyes, my friend. Careful, grandmother. Something fell from the sky to earth, like it had been thrown by Odin himself. A strength he no doubt wishes he possessed. No danger remains. But look, it revealed something hidden in the mountainside. <sighs> Looks almost like a door. If it is, then it's the door to something that I have long been searching for. May I ask you for a kindness, Dringur? My name is Eivor of the Raven Clan. And that depends on how kind you need me to be. Will you grant me a home while I investigate the door, Eivor of the Raven Clan? I don't make a habit of sheltering strangers. My name is Hilderan. There. Now we are no longer strangers. Please. If I am right, then this is Freya's gate. Allow me to stay, and I will help you discover the treasures that lay on the other side. Very well. I will give you a small piece of land to make a home on, and supplies from our age to build with. Thank you, kind Eivor. The gods smile on you. I may be kind, but I am no fool. Everyone must pull their weight, and I expect no less from you. A fair rule, and one I can easily follow. Eivor the kind. A welcomed visit. Like what you see. You have certainly made this space your own. But how does this help you open a stone door? It is a shrine to Freya. We will need her favor if we wish to reveal the hidden treasures. Ah, it's we now, is it? I told you, Eivor. You will want to see what is on the other side. Now come. Freya demands combat before she will aid us. For a moment, I thought you meant for me to fight you. Fear not. I can handle myself. I cannot possibly fight you. I would kill you. You could try. Attack me. <clears throat> now get up, and let's give Lady Freya a fight. <clears throat> fight harder, Eivor. Yes! Give me everything you have! Shut up. 
open to attack. Watch. Come at me again! What magic is this? And how do you fight with the strength of a berserk? I can teach you, Sigurd. But first, we fight! These are not my weapons. Are you already making excuses, Trinity? I have not seen in Mercia. As will you, after my training. How is this possible? Calm your mind on questions and concentrate on battle! seen many strange things, but nothing like this. What magic do you possess? I have not seen a seer fight like that. I am no seer. I am what you see before you. An old warrior with a knowledge of secrets. If that was not magic, then what was it? That was a battle meditation. You entered Hugerheim, the mind's realm. It is a secret form of training that not many know. You can attack full force with no fear of injury. And yet, you know this training. You're glad to have let me stay now, aren't you? Very much. Tell me, what part does the amulet play? It is a vessel. It needs to be filled with the energy created in battle. But it will only work with this type of shrine. They can be found all over Mercia. I have many questions still. I promise you will get answers. But first, I have marked a shrine location on your map. Once there, enter a meditation. The amulet will pull you into Hugerheim. What happens when I've finished my training? Then, you return to me. Very well. Have you met Volker? Something of you reminds me of her. Go now, kind Eivor, and train!
by the gods. As though I'm dreaming while awake. Hmm. I feel great.
rune of protection, paid in blood, is drawn upon our longhouse. A rock has been righted, giving peace to our dead. You have really risen to the occasion, Eivor. Come claim your full reward. I have done what I can to prepare for this day. It is now for the gods to judge, and for the fates to decide. Approach it! Is all falls into place. The pattern comes into focus. Does it now? A rune of protection writ large on the longhouse. The restless put to rest, and a people prepared for the hunt. I think you're less mad than you let on, Monk. But I have to disappoint you. There will be no hunt. Will there not? Even now, powerful forces gather. We're not out.